Hello, eighth graders. It's Mr. KB back with another quick demonstration on IXL math, eighth grade IXL math. We are in a unit on linear relations. And so today we're going to look at Z or Z7, this learning activity right here. We're going to talk about how do we graph a line from an equation. So you might look at this and, and be sort of unsure about how to proceed. There are different ways to go here, but I'm going to show you how I would work my way through this. We're given y equals 2x plus 3. That's the format of y equals mx plus b. And our task is to graph this line using the slope and y-intercept. So let's proceed. Let's say that x is 0. So if x is 0, we're working somewhere in this line here, right? x is 0, we have 2 times 0, that's 0, plus 3. So this first value, this first y value is going to be 3. What if x is 1? Well, then we have 2 times 1, that's 2, plus 3 is 5. So y is going to equal 5. Let's try this one. We've got y equals 3x plus 1. So again, if x is 0, we've got 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is y. And then for, let's say we have, let's say that x is 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. All right. Now, what happens here? We've got one-third, y equals one-third x. Interesting. Well, to make this work and to give myself easy numbers, I want to use a multiple of three here, and you'll see why. So let's say that x is six. So we're going to, we're going to deal with uh, x right here, somewhere in this line. If x is six, what is one-third of six? It's 2. Um, what about if x is 3? And again, keep looking at this equation. If x is 3, well, 1 third of 3 is 1. So y equals 1. And that is my line. What if y equals 1 tenth? of x, one-tenth of x. Okay, we're getting a little trickier here. Well, we know that, so we'll start with an easy one here, 10. If x is 10, what is one-tenth of 10? It's one, right? One-tenth of 10 is, is one. Um, let's, what if x is zero? Well, if x is zero, then one-tenth of x is, <laughs> is zero. So y equals zero, and that should be correct as well. Okay, here's a different look, five x plus one. So again, I just start with zero. Zero times five is zero, plus one is y. What if I plug a one in here? Five times one is five, plus one is six. So x is one, y is six. Let's do a few more and, and hopefully see a few different kinds of looks here in case you're getting stuck on a particular equation style. So six times zero, again, I'm going to make x zero start right here. Six times zero is zero plus four is four. Six times one is six. Uh, yeah, six times one is six plus four is 10. That's a very steep line. Aha, okay, getting a little tougher, getting a little tougher. One eighth of x plus two. Interesting, one eighth of x plus two. So what if x is eight? Well, one eighth of x, one eighth of eight, pardon me, is one plus two is three. So I wish I could actually, can I write on the screen here? I don't think so. Okay, so I'll just say it out loud one more time. So if x is eight, one eighth of eight is one, plus two is three. And that's why I'm putting my 
dot right there at uh, the eight position on the X axis, the three position on the Y axis. What if X is zero? So we go right here and one eighth of zero is zero plus two is two. There we have it. Ooh, okay, a negative, no problem. No probs, sorry about that, <laughs> negative four X. So we've got zero, X is zero. Negative four times zero is zero. Plus nine, I'm going way up here. I put my, this dot is gonna to have to come out. There we go. All right, so let's try negative four times one. Um, pardon me, let's try X as the one value. So somewhere in this line, negative four times one is negative four, plus nine is five, negative four plus nine. If you think that the weather is minus four degrees, but add nine degrees, we're going to get to five degrees. And that's our line. So again, this dot we get when we use X as zero right here. This point, I should say point, not dot. This point we get when we use X as one, All right? Hopefully that makes sense. Again, I wish I could write these all. I wish I had a writing board right beside me. I'm probably overlooking. Uh, I think actually when you use IXL on iPads, you might have more options like that. Okay, so graph this line using the slope and Y intercept. So one fourth of X is, oh, pardon me. Let's use zero as X. So one fourth time, one quarter times zero is zero plus four. Here we go. And then let's use one, no, let's use four as X. So one fourth of four is one plus four is five. Again, I'm using four here because I know that one fourth times four is one. It just makes for easy math. Uh, if I put three here, that would get really tricky. So I want to use a multiple of four factor of uh, multiple, yes. Okay, and there we go. We've got our line. Oh, seriously? You're going to give us this? Okay, well, sure. <laughs> okay. They throw us this at 64 smart score. That's kind of weird, IXL. It's weird, man. Is IXL a man or a woman? That's something we can debate if, if you've watched this far. Y equals 7X plus 2. So again, let's say that X is 0 somewhere on this line. Oh, pardon me. No, it won't be. Hang on. Yes, it will be. <laughs> Sorry about that. X is 0. So 7 times 0 is 0 plus 2. That's where we're going to end up here. And what if X is one? Well, then we have seven times one is seven plus two is nine. So that doesn't seem right. Am I doing something wrong here? Yes, I am. That was dumb. Okay, back up the tape. So X is one. So we're going to be obviously in this line here. I was falling asleep. I think I was thinking about other things there. Well, seven times one is seven plus two is nine. So that, there we go. There we go. So now we have X in the zero position and X in the one position. All right, good. That's a little more challenging. So again, I'm going to use X. I'm going to use zero as my X value, my first X value. So negative five times zero is zero plus 10 is right there 10 on the uh, at the y position zero on the x-axis and let's use one as x so uh, somewhere on this line um, negative five times one is negative five plus ten is five why do i do that see i'm this is what happens when i make videos late at night 
start to get silly. And I'm over the 10 minute mark, so I feel like I should stop there. But that is a demonstration of Z or Z7, graph a line from an equation in IXL 8th grade math. Thanks for watching.